In this video, we're going to talk about how to configure Palo Alto to install and automatically install dynamic updates for your system. Now, dynamic updates are used for a lot of things, including the antivirus, uh, wildfire, and other items on your systems. So it's very helpful to have them running. Let's go ahead and look at how we do that. Uh, as with most things, most of the system type configurations are going to be under the device tab. Device tab on the left hand side, we can scroll all the way down until we get to dynamic updates. On the main screen there on the right hand side, it shows us all the updates that are on the system and shows if they have been installed, I'm sorry, if they've been downloaded and if they are currently installed. Uh, so there we can see hey, we have an antivirus update. Uh, specifically dated uh, 8 5 2019 so that is uh, October no uh, August 5th of 2019 that is a little old uh, so I might want to download and install a newer update in order to download them what I can do is I can just go ahead and click check now this will go ahead and it will check the Palo Alto servers online to see if there's newer antivirus versions uh, let's see right there looks like to be the latest one so if I want to download that I come over here and I click download next to the action that will take a second for it to download the antivirus updates uh, once it's done there we go it now says that it's downloaded and my download link is now set to install if I click install it now installs that antivirus configuration for my system. So that's really helpful if I want to be manually in control of the updates that are on my system. For instance, that was for antivirus. I can collapse that. There's also an applications and threats, uh, global protect, uh, more global protect data files, and then wildfire. So maybe I want some of these to be manually configured. Maybe I want them to be automatically configured. Uh, so we just walked through how to set it as manual that will refresh shortly and say that it is currently installed. Not yet. Um, but if I want to schedule it to happen automatically, what happens is I click right here where it says schedule. There we go. And I can specify a recurrence. Uh, so here they have none, which is the default for a lot of these, uh, daily, hourly, or weekly. So what time for hour, for daily, what time during the day, what action do I want to happen? Uh, none, do I want it to only download the updates? So then I would have to go in and configure them to be installed or download and install. Uh, let's see. For antivirus, you may actually want to make this a little bit more specific, a little bit more frequent, such as hourly. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and say five minutes past the hour. Go ahead and download and install. Um, oh, and then you can also specify, hey, it has to be X number of hours old before you actually do this, just so you don't accidentally fall on what's known as the bleeding edge. So there you go. Every hour at five minutes past the hour, it will go ahead and download antivirus. You need to go ahead and specify that for all the rest as far as the applications of threats, global protect, wildfire, uh, which is, wow, every minute. Uh, yeah. So that is configuring the automatic updates. <clears throat> Quick, easy, and then you don't have to worry about it.